let's look at the sludge discharge process using an actual example of the total discharge. In this example, all of the sludge inside the bowl is discharged from the sludge discharge holes. In automatic operation, at preset sludge discharge intervals, the supply of dirty oil is stopped, and the replacement water is supplied to the separation chamber, thus collecting the oil in the bowl. Next, operating water is supplied to the water pressure room. Once the chamber is filled, centrifugal force is applied to generate hydraulic pressure in the operating water. When this hydraulic pressure exceeds the centrifugal force in the hydraulic valve, the pilot valves move inward. As you can see, the operating water in the valve opening chamber is then discharged from the bowl. When the operating water in the valve opening chamber is discharged, the hydraulic pressure inside the separation chamber causes the valve cylinder to slide downward. The dropping of the valve cylinder causes the sludge discharge outlet to open, and all sludge and liquids are immediately discharged from the separation chamber. When discharge ends, the supply of valve opening water stops. All of the valve opening water is released through the drain nozzles. With the hydraulic pressure from the valve opening water removed, the pilot valves once again move outside. The supply of the valve opening water, which had been stopped during sludge discharge, is now resumed. When the bowl is filled with the valve opening water, Hydraulic pressure is generated, pushing the valve cylinder upward to shut the discharge outlet. Sealing water is supplied into the separation chamber, and dirty oil operation begins.